All right, welcome to another video in the series of my office makeover. So I wanted to start out real quick by showing you where I'm at with my listings. As I mentioned, I wanted to get down by a thousand listings and I started at 4787. If you missed it in my first intro video, I'll link that above. That is how many listings I had when I began. As you can see, I'm now down to 4757. So I'm down by 30 listings. And getting a listing deficit is really difficult to do with a store my size because I'm always listing. So I've been working really hard to do that. I did end up deleting some listings and donating a few things. I've also ran a couple sales, which resulted in some good um, sales coming through. And then I have been pulling back and listing less. So all of those factors together um, helped me get a deficit of 30 listings, which is really exciting for just one week. I'm pretty happy with that. And I just need to keep going and get the pace picked up maybe just a little bit. Anyways, I just wanted to start you guys there. And now let's go ahead and jump into the footage of getting cleaned up and organized. Okay, so I figured let's start with the most embarrassing and also the most annoying part of my office, the underneath part. All of my tables and desks, I use this storage like or I use the under my desks and tables as storage, which seems like a good idea in concept, but it functions terribly. Um, it just ends up creating a huge mess and I hate it. So let's start by clearing all this out. Even though I, even though I don't yet have a plan for how I want to rearrange the office, this stuff I know I want out of here. So that's where I'm going to begin because I don't have a lot of time today to work on this before I have to go pick up my daughter from her dad's house. So I want to get done at least a few things that I can share with you guys. All right. So these shoes all need to find a new home. So I'm going to clear them out. There's actually other stuff under here and I don't even know what's under the shoes because it's been so long since I have had no shoes in this bin. So let's clear out the shoes. First of all, I'm going to go find other homes for these. This is why it was so hard to find a pair of shoes when they sold because I literally sh would shove shoes anywhere I had a spot, like a little sp extra space and <laughs> then I'd have to go searching for them because uh, I wouldn't make a note anywhere where to find them either. Just shove them somewhere. Terrible. See all this stuff? Oh my God. Uh, there's my Clarence. <laughs> or not Clarence. There's my um, Clarisonic. Oh my God. And my old... This is like makeup stuff in my room. Oh, yes, getting stuff. Okay. There's, there's a lot of random stuff in here that is like personal items, not, not like inventory. These bags are great. I just bought a new set, so I this is what I use for inventory, although I'm not expanding inventory anymore, so I don't know if I'll even need those, but... All right, this needs to just go in my house. I need to bring this inside and sort out what I want to keep out of here and get rid of what I don't want to keep because this is like personal items. Ugh, that's crazy. Okay, now this bin is supposed to be just, <laughs> just for these, but some other stuff got in there, it looks like. Okay, so yeah, this is supposed to be all of my um, nailers. So I do like using that. That's another personal item. Um, I just, I want to organize this, but I'm not going to do it right now. So I want to get this more sorted out a little bit better later. This bin is supposed to be for receipts that are related to my business. So I'll keep that for now. It's not the best way to do it, but I'll keep that for now. All right. And then these bins. Oh, okay. No more shoes under there. Thank God. Now... While we're going through this, obviously I need to sweep. I'm going to sweep and mop. I'm going to, it's just, yeah, <laughs> that's something I'm going to do. But this bag right here, this bag is where I put items that need alterations, need like a little bit of sewing. So I got it home and realized there was damage on it. And actually most of these came from Play-Dohs. I went to like a 90% off Play-Dohs sale and I was way too distracted because I had my toddler with me and she was causing a ruckus. So I didn't check things over and I get home and literally everything was really damaged. So I threw it all in this bag. Now I'm looking at this wondering where is the flaw? This one looks like it came from Goodwill, but I don't see. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, so see right here, this strap, it's a really simple fix, but I don't sew. Uh, my mom sews, but she's so busy. I hate asking her for help with that. So I'm probably just gonna donate these because I just don't have the time or the ability to repair them. Here's a Lulu's dress. And again, there's just a little bit coming up at the seam here. That would be a super simple fix. I just don't, I don't sew. Um, at one point I did take a whole bunch of stuff to a seamstress, but when I did the math on it, it wasn't worth the cost um, on the items that I had. Now, if it was a really high end item, I might consider it, but that was like Zara and Lulu's. So no, this is just Romeo and Juliet Couture. I feel like it was the zipper was broken on this. Yeah, the zipper is broken. So again, I'm just going to donate it because somebody could fix these. It's not like unfixable. It's just not something I have the time for. This dress is so cute. I was really sad that this one um, had a flaw. So this is Hello Molly, size small. Yeah, this one also came from Play-Dohs. I think most of this did. That was really, really disappointing that they didn't pull the damages off the floor or make a note that it was damaged. Anyway, this again, stuck zipper. Um, this one was brand new with tags. This I'm really sad about because it is Elizabeth and James. Oh, I thought it was Allison, Olivia. Listen, Elizabeth and James doesn't, isn't that valuable anymore, but the zipper is completely ruined as you can see. So that can go as well. I think I'm just going to go ahead and donate all of this. I don't have to go through it all on camera. This is also a broken zipper. So I'm going to just go ahead and donate all of this stuff and then we'll move on to the next part. All right, I'm at the point now where if I bring home a, an item that I missed a flaw that needs like an actual repair to it, any kind of a repair, I am just gonna donate it back because I don't have the skill set to fix these and it just the cost doesn't make sense. So these are all gonna be donated and from here on out, I'm not gonna have a flaw bag. Like this has been my flaw bag for like two years. Some of this has been in here way too long. I don't need that, so I'm just going to go ahead and donate this and not do that anymore. Okay, so I got all the shoes and other items out from underneath that desk. I still have a little work to do over there. I'm just trying to do some of the stuff that I know uh, will make a big impact and that I can get done quickly because I don't have a lot of time today. But I had this big brown garbage bag <laughs> that was sitting over on the other side of the shelf on the floor. And this actually was a donation that I got from someone locally. And um, I haven't finished going through it, but I think most of this is donations. So I have these two bins that I just pulled out um, that had those shoes in it. I'm gonna fill those up with things that can be donated and see if there's anything in here I wanna sell. Otherwise, this is all gonna go to Goodwill. Those are kind of cute little baby Jordans. I, I'll try to sell those. All right, so I got about 10 things out of that bag. There wasn't much from that donation. I, pretty sure she was a reseller. She told me that she does, um, storage, um, like she bids on storage auctions, but she said that she doesn't sell any of the clothes, but like nearly everything she gave me was damaged. So I feel like she does sell clothes and only gave me the ones she didn't want to deal with, but that's okay. I did get a few things that I could sell. Um, and I'm not going to be taking donations anymore. I just don't have the time for it. So, all right, that's it. Let me go ahead and put these in the to be processed area. Okay, so now I've added to, this is my donation pile. I have those, this box, and now I've added this. And please excuse the mess, but there was, the bag was there. Look, as you can see, some cat food had spilled and I couldn't get to it. So I just have to get this cleared up. I'm gonna get all of this cleared out so that I can really sweep and mop these floors. I'm even gonna pull up this rug, vacuum it really good, pull it up, just get this place spick and span. So. I think my next project, I got to take a lunch break because I'm starving, but I think my next project is going to go through these boxes. Um, I do have to ship today, so I think I can use some of them for my shipping. Um, so I'll set aside what I can use and the rest I'm going to take out to the burn pile um, and yeah, just get them out of here. So that is the next plan. Also, I did want to tell you guys, this is my to be washed um, bin right here. I actually did a load of things that needed like treated and washed last night. So I'm going to bring that load in see if the stains came out of those items. If they didn't, then I'm going to donate what didn't come out and um, hang the rest for processing. So making progress, it all just takes time. And I, being a one man show, it just, you know, you got to do a little bit at a time. And yeah, maybe I can go through these bags too and decide what I want to take to donate because I'm going to be filling the back of my car with donations. I think I'm just going to donate that lamp also because I don't want to deal with trying to sell it locally. And now that the shade is broken, I'm like, am I going to go buy a new shade or 
try to sell it as is, is. I don't want to. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Go through these. I want to get rid of that. That was left over from when my grandma used it and she doesn't need that. I don't need it. So I'm going to get rid of that stool because it's just, just always in my way. Um, so yeah, then we'll be cooking with fire after that. Okay, here we go. Okay, I want to load into my car the stuff that I'm taking to Goodwill. So I think I'm going to go ahead and unbury this guy and get it out of here because it is just in my way. And I eventually I want to get this table out altogether. So everything that's in this corner needs to find a new home. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out right now. Um, and that will make a big difference. I feel like I'm trying to see if there's anything else over here that could be donated. Yeah. This bag right here, this can be donated. Um, I think that's it. A lot of this is listed like non-clothing items that need a home. I might just hang this up somewhere. This is my vision board. I can't hardly see it because it's so buried. So maybe find a new place for that. So, okay, let me get that done. Okay, is it just me or when you start organizing and cleaning like this, does it feel like things get messier before they get better? Because I feel like even more claustrophobic. But anyway, I did get that out of there. And now I'm left with this big mess to figure out. But I think I might take a break from the cleaning um, to load up my car real quick. Um, and all this needs to get donated. So maybe I'll just go ahead and load my car up real quick with this stuff. Um, but before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to come over here and go through these two bags because, um, this for sure is going to go too. So along with everything I just showed you, I'm going to get rid of this lamp. And then these two bags I want to go through real quick because there's most of this is going to get donated. I think there's only a few items in there that I decided I didn't want to get rid of. Um, I had pulled them out for like a I think I did like a whatnot show or something. And afterwards I was like, I don't want any of this stuff, the stuff that didn't sell. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go through this real quick. And then I'm going to load up my car for Goodwill. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I just finished filling my car with all the stuff I just showed you guys. I filled it like this is, I have a big back on my car and I filled it up. The only thing I couldn't fit, I could not fit the, um, chair. As you can see, there's just no room for that. So I'll have to take that on another trip. Um, I could put it in the middle, but I need seating available for the kids in the morning. I won't be able to take this till tomorrow. So that's all that can fit this time around. I want to show you how it looks now. Okay. The floor is wet because it's pouring rain, but uh, I'm going to clean that later anyway. I just wanted to show you guys how much I was able to get done. I have to stop working on this project for now because I have to get my shipping done and photographs done for the week before I go pick up my daughter and I'm running out of time, but I feel a lot better. It's still a disaster. Don't get me wrong, but there's so much less stuff in here already. As you guys saw, I filled up my car. Um, it feels a lot better already. So once I get that out of there, that'll be helpful as well. Obviously I have a lot of cleaning to do once I remove the bulk of the stuff, but my next project is probably going to be dealing with all this excess inventory and finding places to at least put it away for now, which means I might have to get rid of and pull out stuff. I did remove um, one whole, oh, that's the shoe bag. That's the bag we made of shoes. Oh, this is also shoes. This one, <laughs> this bag of clothing is what I have left from those two bags that were sitting here next to the lamp. I decided one whole bag worth of stuff was ready to be donated. And this is the stuff that I'm going to keep trying to sell probably should whittle that down even more, but I reduced prices on everything in this bag. I uh, went ahead and lowered prices on, so hopefully I can get that stuff moving. Um, this feels a lot better. Like there's less clutter over here, still a giant mess, but anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. So, okay. It is now a week later from the footage you would have just seen. I pretty much only have uh, the weekends that Amelia's gone usually to work on this. She happened to be at her dad's two weekends in a row because we were switching schedules around. So it's a week, it's a week later. Things have changed slightly because I've sold some things. I was able to use some of the boxes that I had here um, for shipping some of the larger items that I sold. So it looks a little different because of that. Um, and then of course, all the stuff that I removed to go to Goodwill is now gone. So that made a bit, bit of a difference. Um, and my next project that I want to do right now is to get some of my personal items out of here. I am living with my parents, as I've mentioned, and because we have a shared space, a lot of my personal items I didn't have room for, um, but my dad has gotten a large storage unit on his property now, and so I can move all of my stuff there. So most of what's in here is personal storage. So like this box right here, these are like photos that used to be on my wall. 
um, a lot of that kind of stuff. I'm gonna box up some of the loose items and put it in that storage. That will get rid of this thing over here, this this uh, Christmas tree box, and I have like that box is uh, personal documents. I have this box here. Like I literally just have random boxes and items that should be in storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather that stuff up now because I think that will actually make a big difference as well. Okay, this is what I gathered up to store. This chair, if you guys remember, I was saying I was gonna donate it. This actually belongs to my grandma, so I kind of felt bad about that. So I'm glad there wasn't room that trip because I'm just gonna put that in the storage now. Um, and then this is all personal items that I was able to walk around my office and find all of this stuff. Now, I think there's probably gonna be more. This is just like the stuff I saw right away that I could store. So all of this is going to move out of my office and into the storage. And that's a lot of stuff after, especially after what I've donated. Taking this out, it's already starting to feel less cluttered and chaotic in here, but I still have a lot of work to do. So I'll show you, it's starting to empty out a little bit. Still a long ways to go, but this is a really good start. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna move all of this out so that I have a little more space. Oh, and one more thing. This shelf, a lot of this came out of here. Um, this is almost empty now. There's a few things left in here which are mostly listed items that I just have to relocate upstairs. Once I do that and empty this out fully, I'm gonna move this out to storage as well. And that will really feel like a lot more space in here. So I'm excited to get all of that done. I mean, it might need help moving this because it's really bulky. Um, so anyways, let me get started with this stuff. It was such a beautiful morning this morning when I was bringing the stuff out to the storage. I thought I would give you guys an outside view of my shed as I was walking back and forth. It took me like 12 trips to get everything out there, but I was enjoying the process. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. <sighs> okay. I had to take a quick break to put on some makeup. Um, now I want to show you guys the next thing I'm going to do is this shelf down here. You guys see that shelf that's underneath my feet when I'm working and it's a shoe shelf, but I know I have a spot upstairs for that. Um, when I first like set up this office, I was like, I'm going to utilize every little corner and every nook and cranny. And now I'm like, Oh, I don't want to do that. It feels like too much. It's overwhelming. So, um, so I'm going to move that upstairs and we're going to try to start clearing some of this. I'm just questioning myself right now because I'm like, wait, do I want to move this shelf upstairs when I haven't decided if I'm doing the swap of the upstairs and downstairs yet? Hmm, I better think about this. One second. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to talk this out with you guys. So the reason I'm hesitating about swapping, uh, there's two reasons. Number one, look at the amount of bins I have, you guys. <laughs> Trying to move all of this down to there is intimidating these stairs that i'm standing on right now are extremely i don't want to make you too dizzy or whatever but they're very steep stairs and so my dad built this pulley system for me to move the bin so i could use that it just is very very time consuming it would be a lot of freaking work to do but i also want to get it set up correctly i don't want to keep moving stuff I just want it to be set up ideally, you know, the, the way that it's going to work best for me. So maybe, maybe I just need to bite the bullet and do it. The other thing that worries me is this loft is a little small, but I don't need a lot of space up here for just a workstation. Gosh, I feel like it might be best. Um, the other thing I was going to say that what I was worried about was, um, internet up here, but I think it will be okay. Da, 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 da. decisions 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 by the way this is right here was where I was going to put that smaller shoe shelf right now I just have a couple bags and some lids I have these lids everywhere I think I might actually move these lids out to my storage too the reason I have so many is because um the bins on the shelves I don't have lids on because it's easier to get in and out of them when I'm pulling inventory instead of having to remove a lid I just slide it out and grab what I need um, the only reason I have lids on these ones is because they stack, um, and I keep the lids in case I go to a new office and need lids for stacking. So that makes sense in my brain, but it probably isn't, <laughs> it probably isn't necessary to keep all those lids. Maybe I should just get rid of them. Oh, also if I moved all this downstairs, because all of these bins are stacked just because I, I can't fit shelves here, but if I move this downstairs, I could buy more shelves 
and have everything on shelves so I didn't have to stack and unstack when I pull. Oh my God, I just sold myself on the idea. You guys, I want, do you know how hard it is? If I sell something in T-Bin, I have to unstack all of these. And by the way, do you see all these clothes on the floor? <laughs> all of these bags on the floor are because um, when I'm putting stuff away, I throw it in front of the stack it belongs to. So there's like an N, an O, and an N bag here. So when I sell something in O or P and I unstack these, then I put them away. But until I sell something in O or P and unstack enough to get down to these bins, then they sit here. <laughs> so I have little piles in front of all my stacks because that's my way of being efficient, but also a little bit lazy. There's more over here. So these piles only happen on the stacking bins. Obviously on all of the ones that are on shelves and open, I just put them away right when I bring it up. I only stack on the floor for the ones that I don't want to, all right, a store on the floor, the ones that I don't want to unstack every time I'm putting them away. It saves me time. I, it really, really does. But it's also creating more clutter, more clutter. So better systems to prevent the clutter would be fantastic. I think I'm going to do it, you guys. I think I talked myself into the biggest project <laughs> I could have done with cleaning this office. We're going to move it down here. Okay, so let's come up with a plan then. So right now... These shelves that I have fit two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten bins a piece. So let me do some counting and I'll be right back. So basically I have 40 bins on each side because I have um, the rows here and then one row here and that works out to be 40 bins and then boop, 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 back over here, same exact thing. Oh, not quite as much because it doesn't go all the way down. Let me count, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only seven rows of four. Seven times four is 28, is that right? I hope that I'm doing that math correctly. So, so I would need seven shelves to accommodate the bins that are stacked on the sides here. And if I moved this all down, then I actually could expand my storage just slightly um, because some of these, some of these I have empty spaces in because of the weight restrictions that I was worried about. So on the tops I have, I have space on each one. So I could add three bins to my existing storage and then I'd have two extra slots for bins in the new storage. Does that make sense? So I, I could get seven more, seven more shelves and I would have room for one, two, three, four, five more bins, which would mean I could hopefully clear up all those Ikea bags downstairs and finish putting away that inventory. Okay, so now let's see where would we fit. Seven plus one, two, three, four, five shelves. Seven plus five is 12. Okay, so that means I would have 12 shelves with 10 bins on each shelf, plus these shoe ones, which we'll figure out later. Let's see if I have room for 10 shelves down here. Okay, so if I do this swap, <laughs> This obviously is gonna be going away. I would like, most likely want to keep Mochi's stuff downstairs because he prefers to be downstairs. He goes upstairs sometimes, but it's not his favorite. So the cat stuff would stay down here. I would obviously have to keep those two things down here because they're built in. And I wanna keep most of the storage down here, which would mean these two shoe shelves I wanna keep. And also maybe this shelf with the shipping that I could come back to and decide what to do with. But for sure, I would move this desk upstairs for filming and for work. And then these two tables would go away. Either I'll move one, I'll probably move one upstairs for me to do um, measuring and shipping on. And the other one I might just fold up in store for now. Not sure. So those are, those are variables. So can we fit 10 shelves down here? Wait, not 10, 12. Oh yeah, for sure. Like if I got rid of all this stuff in the center here, I could do like two shelves side by side here. And then I could do like just shelves coming down the center so that I have like an aisle way. I could probably fit three side by side. So that would be six, seven, eight, eight, maybe one here, maybe one there. Maybe turn this sideways. Nine, I could do it. 
it would take some figuring out. I would have to probably move things around a little bit to figure out the best way to do it. But I, I think I could fit 12 shelves down here. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh. Now I have to come up with a plan as to how I'm going to execute this. And I got to buy seven shelves. Okay. These shelves are more expensive than I thought they were. <laughs> so they're like over a hundred dollars a piece times 12. Mm, I don't got the budget for that right now. So gosh darn it. What do I do? What do I do? So I could either just move it all down here and get the shelves like one at a time, which is most likely what I would have to do. Maybe get like a couple right now and then slowly um, buy more as I have the funds to do so. Um, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. I did not realize how pricey they are. If you guys know a place to get them at a good discount, let me know. I'm also going to be checking out Facebook marketplace. Cause I know I sometimes see people getting rid of stuff like that. So I hopefully can find a better deal there locally. So much to factor in. Also, I'm just remembering what the heck I'm going to do with that thing. Just leave it there. I might have to leave it there. I think I might stop selling coats because I hate storing coats. Even though it's a good ROI, I really like the, um, you know, return on investment, but storage, I have to factor in storage. It's just so much space and clutter. So anyway, I'll figure it out. I think I'm going to order like a couple of these shelves for now so that I can at least get a start on moving things down and organized the way that I want to. And then... Um, I'm just going to have to slowly over time. I might just stack them for now until I have enough, um, shelving to really get them set up correctly. Mm, not fun, but it is what it is. Okay. You guys. So I ordered two shelves for now. That's all I could afford. I found on home Depot, the same size that I have for $99. That was the best price that I could find on like a legit website. So I ordered two for now and I think what I'm going to do next, this is, I'm going to end this vlog here and you'll have to wait till the next one for the rest of this. But I think the next process that I'm going to do, since I am getting, going to bring everything down, I'm going to have, like I mentioned, a little bit more room for bins. Um, eventually once I get all this shelving in and everything set up, this is going to be a long process, but I think because of that, I can go ahead and start moving all of the Ikea bags that I've showed you guys of, um, listed inventory that needs put away. It needs a home is what it needs. It's so hard when I sell an item that doesn't have a inventory number in the listing. I know it's in one of these Ikea bags. And then I have to go digging through five Ikea bags full of clothes to find the item. And it takes so long. It's so much waste of time. So since I know I have, I'm going to have this space. I don't have it yet. I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple more bins and go ahead and get all of these moved into new bins because I just, I, I need to do something with it. Once I do that, then I can hopefully free up enough space down here to start moving the shelving and bins from upstairs to down here. So that's the plan that I'm going to tackle in the next video because I got to go buy some more supplies. So we're kind of stuck here for now. Plus I have a lot of other work to work on. I'm working on getting through the little bit of a death pile I have. I don't have much of a death pile. I could probably get this all listed in two weeks. I've really pulled back on my sourcing. I've gone sourcing a couple times, but my last trip to good or to uh, value village, I only picked up three items because I'm being super, super picky. Um, so yeah, I, I think I can get through this death pile. I'm pretty much almost freezing my, um, purchasing right now so that I can get through this and slow down on my listing. That's the plan. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a little all over the place, but that's kind of ho how I am. So I'm just sharing my honest journey with you guys. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.